Hello. Hello. In today's program, we'll learn how to get a hotel room, a meal, and some other things we need. First, let's see what Roger wants to get. Watch carefully, please. I'd like a single room for two nights. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Ah, good afternoon. I'd like a single room for two nights, please. Yes, sir. What are your charges? Thirty pounds a night. Hmm. Does that include breakfast? Yes, sir. It does. Fine. Watch again carefully, please. Concentrate on what kind of information Roger needs. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Ah, good afternoon. I'd like a single room for two nights, please. I'd like a single room for two nights. Yes, sir. What are your charges? What are your charges, please? Thirty pounds a night. Hmm. Does that include breakfast? Does that include breakfast? Yes, sir. It does. Fine. Well done. And now, let's see what Roger wants to get. Please watch. I want a jacket, please. Can I help you? I want a jacket. What kind of jacket? Something light for the summer. Well, how about this one? <sighs> Listen to this conversation again, please. Can I help you? I want a jacket. What kind of jacket? What kind of jacket? Something light for the summer. Something light for the summer. Well, how about this one? Good. Now let's see what Roger and Helen want for a picnic. Watch carefully, please. I'd prefer chicken salad. Hello, Helen. Good to see you. Hello, Anne. Hello, Roger. What shall we have for our picnic today? I'd like a hamburger. I prefer chicken salad. I suggest you two prepare it then. And now, concentrate again on what Helen and Roger want for a picnic. Hello, Helen. Good to see you. Hello, Anne. Hello, Roger. What shall we have for our picnic today? I'd like a hamburger. I prefer chicken salad. I prefer chicken salad. I suggest you two prepare it then. Very good. Now Let's see how other people try to get the things they want or need.
There's a letter from my Uncle Percy. Uncle Percy? Hmm. I don't remember him. Was he at the wedding? No. You haven't met him. And the family don't talk about him. They don't like him. Oh. Why? Well, he's very rich, but he never spends any money. Oh. Oh, no. He's going to visit us. Good. Good? You don't know Uncle Percy. Oh, I could tell you some stories about him. Go on, then. Tell me. Well, there was a time he went on holiday. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'd like a single room, please. Yes, sir. <laughs> with a bath? Yes. Yes, with a bath. For how long, sir? For three nights till the 27th. A single room with a bath until the 27th. Yes, we can do that, sir. I'd prefer a room with a view of the sea. All right, sir. I can put you at the front of the hotel. By the way, I can't pay more than five pounds a night. Five pounds a night? <coughs> five pounds a night? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, he went to different hotels and at last he found a little room in a terrible hotel. <coughs> <coughs> My room's too cold. I want something warmer. Certainly, sir. Of course, it will cost rather more. Oh. Well, can I have another blanket? <coughs> Here we are. Thanks. That is 50 pence, please. And that's my Uncle Percy. Oh, dear. I'd like a single room, please. I'd prefer a room with a view. A double room, please. With bath? Oh, yes, we must have a bathroom. And for how long? For ten nights. We prefer a room with a view. And you can't pay more than ten pounds a night? Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Here we are. Just what you want. Does the price include breakfast? Yes. Can I help you, madam? Oh, yes, please. I want a dress size 38. Something not too light. For the daytime, madam? Yes. Have a look at these, madam. Oh, by the way, I didn't want to pay more than 15 pounds. These aren't expensive, madam. What do you think of that? <laughs> yes, sir. Can I have some popcorn, please? Can I please? Excellent. I want two tickets in the stalls for Saturday night, please. Yes, this Saturday. Oh. Well, they haven't got any. They've sold out. Oh. Monday. Ask about Monday. Do you have any tickets for Monday? What shall we take for the picnic? I'd like a chicken salad. Yes, OK. Good idea. Your Uncle Percy can't always be like that. Oh, yes, he can. For example, he only buys a suit every ten years, but he still doesn't want to spend any money. Good morning, sir. I want a suit, please. 
Yes, sir, I can see that. What kind of suit do you want, sir? I'd like a dark grey suit. Dark grey, yes, sir. Size? Size 38. Very good, sir. Here's a nice dark grey suit in 100% wool. Yes, I like that. A very good suit, sir. And only 170 pounds. How much? 170 pounds, sir. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. <clears throat> 30 pounds? For a suit? Yes. No more than 30 pounds. Have you got something cheaper? But of course he couldn't get a suit for that. Oh, yes, he could. That'll do. Here you are. Thirty pounds. One, two, three. So, if a strange-looking man comes to the door, that'll be my Uncle Percy. I don't want to pay more than thirty pounds. I'd like a dark grey suit. Have you got something cheaper? Well, it's the Grand Tour of Edinburgh, twice daily. I see. The early ones at 9.30. 9.30 and... They're all listed over here. Oh, are they? Here for you. And, and the next one is at 1.30. And they last three hours? About three to three and a half hours. Yes, I can. Thank you very kind. And they start? You'll have to book your ticket for this tour, just along here on the right-hand side. Between four and five pound per person. Yes. Would you like a wash hand basin? Please. Is it for one night or? One night. Your last name, please? K-R-O-H-N. K-R-O-H-N. Your nationality? United States, USA. It's 25 pence for the booking fee, please. Give me 25 pence. All I have is 10 pounds. <laughs> Lucky you have. <laughs> We're right here, right beside the station. Yes. Bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. They're between four and five pounds for a guest house. Yes. Is it just for tonight? We think so, yes. Right. Yeah. Two, one, two beds in the one room. Hello, Mrs. Murray. Tourist accommodation just... here. Do you still have a single room available, please? Have you? Oh, great. Well, can we take one for two nights, please? Mm -hmm. What's your charge, please? Five pounds. So you want to go up to Princess Street, turn left, and it's the third on the right. Oh, yes, I see. You can take this map with you if you want. Thank you. Can I help you? Je ne parle pas l'anglais, je suis français. Vous me comprenez, français? Oui, je parle un peu. Très bien, merci beaucoup. Do you have a map? I can give you a map as well. No. We had breakfast. You have to go around to the accommodation section. It's just around to the left there. Thank you. Could you print your last name and your nationality for me, please? Lovely. 25 pence, please. We've you in with Mrs. K of number 5 Millerfield Place. Mm -hmm. This is the telephone number and it's four pounds each for bed and breakfast. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just show you where Millerfield Place is here. Yeah? It's not actually marked on the map, but that, it's that road there. And this is where we are now. Okay? Crone of the USA, please. Okay, now we've booked you in to the Glenorchy Hotel on Glenorchy Terrace. 
This is a telephone number and it's £4.75 per person for bed and breakfast. Okay? Okay. I'll show you where it is. This is where we are right now and Glenorchy Terrace is down here. So it's rather straightforward. Yes, how will you be getting there? By bus? No, we have a car. You've got a car, car. that's fine. So if you can get down onto the North Bridge, right. just go straight the way down the road into Menton Terrace and then up to the Norky Terrace that way. Okay? To <laughs> you won't believe this, but Uncle Percy took me out for a meal once. Really? Mm. Was it a good meal? It was an Uncle Percy meal. We'd like roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. Very good, sir. Two roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. One. Pardon, sir. I want one roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. And two plates. We're not very hungry, are we? No, Uncle. He's funny. Well, yes. Sad, but funny. When's he going to visit us? He doesn't say. I'll visit you soon. But he won't come if it costs too much. Perhaps he'll get a cheap day return ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. Good heavens. Hello, my boy. Come in. Darling, we've got a visitor. Hello. I'm your Uncle Percy. Oh. I'm sorry I wasn't at your wedding. I was ill. I'm all right now, but I thought a lot. Yes, I thought about a lot of things. I decided to live a little before it's too late. A very good idea, Uncle. Yes, you only live once. Oh, here's your wedding present. I hope you don't mind money. I didn't want to buy the wrong thing. Oh. Money's fine, Uncle. Thanks very much. Did you like Uncle Percy? I did. Now it's time to practice our intonation. Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. We prefer a room with a view. And you can't pay more than ten pounds a night. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Now, listen closely to the rhythm, stress and intonation and repeat. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Listen and repeat. Pay more than that. Don't want to pay more than that. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Well, we don't want to pay more than that. Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. I'd prefer a room with a view of the sea. All right, sir. I can put you at the front of the hotel. I can put you at the front of the hotel. Let's listen carefully to the rhythm, stress and intonation and then repeat. I can put you at the front of the hotel. 
I can put you at the front of the hotel. Listen and repeat. At the front of the hotel. Put you at the front of the hotel. I can put you at the front of the hotel. I can put you at the front of the hotel. Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. Dark grey, yes, sir. Size? Size 38. Very good, sir. Here's a nice dark grey suit in 100% wool. In 100% wool. Pay attention to the rhythm, stress and intonation and repeat. In a hundred percent wool. In a hundred percent wool. Listen and repeat. Percent wool. In a hundred percent wool. In a hundred percent wool. Watch carefully and listen to the following scene. 170 pounds. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. I don't want to pay more than 30 pounds. Now, pay close attention to the rhythm, stress and intonation and then repeat. I don't want to pay more than thirty pounds. I don't want to pay more than thirty pounds. Listen and repeat. Than thirty pounds. Pay more than thirty pounds. I don't want to pay more than thirty pounds. I don't want to pay more than thirty pounds. Thank you. And now a task for you. First, listen to the following dialogue. Concentrate on what Roger wants to get. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Ah, good afternoon. I'd like a single room for two nights, please. Yes, sir. What are your charges? Thirty pounds a night. Hmm. Does that include breakfast? Yes, sir, it does. Fine. Now you participate in the dialogue. Take the part of Roger. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Good afternoon. I'd like a single room for two nights, please. Yes, sir. What are your charges? Thirty pounds a night. Hmm. Does that include breakfast? Yes, sir, it does. Fine. Good. Listen to another dialogue now. Concentrate on what Roger wants to get this time. Can I help you? I want a jacket. What kind of jacket? Something light for the summer. Well, how about this one? Now you participate in the dialogue. Take the part of Roger. 
Can I help you? I want a jacket. What kind of jacket? Something light for the summer. Well, how about this one? Thank you. Now it's time to sum up what we've learned in this program. I'd like a single room for two nights. What are your charges, please? Does that include breakfast? What kind of jacket? Something light for the summer. I'd prefer chicken salad. That's all for now. Thank you. Goodbye.